Robert Brault said, if I had to do it again, I'd ask more questions and interrupt fewer answers. Hey guys, Orly Waba here, coming at you every Monday through Thursday with an act of kindness to kickstart your day. Coming from my book, Kindness Boomerang, how to save the world and yourself through 365 daily acts. And so, for today, January 30th, the act of kindness is to be considerate and become mindful of waiting for a person to finish speaking before interrupting to add your thoughts. I mean, it's so simple, but it's oftentimes overlooked, and I myself am very much guilty of that. You know, everyone has a story, uh, an experience that's worth sharing or a lesson that they can teach. Whether we learn from it and grow from it is actually up to us. But often the want and the desire for our voices to be heard overshadows the voices of others. It prevents us from engaging in perhaps the most instrumental lesson of all. The lesson that is inherent in the simple act of listening. You know, a powerful leader, like a conductor, need not say a word for his message to be communicated. His sole function is to listen and guide others through opposing viewpoints, away from their own agendas and objectives, to actually hear one another amidst the noise in an effort to add to the progress and development of the whole. To turn the mere sounds into music, the mere ideas into action, the mere voices into echoes of change. A little self-restraint and patience can be hard to practice, but it's invaluable once mastered. And I want to recommend a specific book, even though I know I'm talking about my book, but this book here, Maestro, a surprising story about leading by listening by Roger Nuremberg. This has been an exceptional book, one that I've read time and time again, that actually takes this point to a whole nother level. And I recommend it for anybody that's involved in any leadership role. And if we think about it, we are all leaders in some manner. Okay, whether you're a parent that's guiding their child, whether you're a teacher, whether you're working in an office, it doesn't matter whether you're the CEO or somebody else that has others that are maybe working under them. But the idea of leading by listening, I highly recommend this book to anyone out there. And so I want to thank you all for joining me for today's Kindness Kickoff. And I hope to see you again tomorrow. Remember, it's kindness that keeps the world afloat. Love you all. Mwah.